Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can create this spider-like thing in Geometry Nodes. So let's get started. First let's hit Shift A and add a plane. To control the position of the spider let's add an icosphere and move it over here. Add an empty plane axis and shift click on the icosphere. And now let's click on the empty again and press Ctrl P. Object, select the plane, go to geometry nodes and click on new. Delete the group input and add an icosphere. This should work with pretty much every object. Alt shift click on the icosphere. Now let's set the radius to 2. Add a subdivision surface node and set the level to 2. You don't have to do this but I'm also going to add an extrude mesh node. Set the offset scale to 0.1. Set the edge crease to 1. Add an edge path to curves node. We also need a set spline type node. Set it from poly to nerves. Add a set curve radius node. We also need a curve to mesh node. Enable fill caps and add a curve circle. Plug the curve into the profile curve. Add a set position node and put that here. Let's also add a raycast node. Plug the hit position into the selection here and into the offset. Let's add an object info node. Set it to relative and select the icosphere. Plug the geometry into the target geometry. Add a position node and plug it into the ray direction. Shift and drag click drag over here and add a vector math node. Set it to scale and set the scale to 0.39. Add a spline parameter node. Plug the factor into the radius here. Add a shortest edge paths node. Plug the nearest vertex index into the nearest vertex index. Add an index node, plug the index into the end vertex, add a compare node, set it to integer and equal. Let's reconnect this. Now go to the curve circle and set the radius to 0.03. Add a set material node, duplicate it and add a joint geometry node. Let's put that here and plug the geometry into the geometry. Take the mesh of the extrude mesh node and plug it into the geometry here. Let's save now. Add a subdivision surface node. And let's put it here. It is important that you don't change the edge crease here because otherwise Blender will crash. I'm going to set the level to 3. Add a set shade smooth node. Go to the material properties and click on new. Click on the plus sign and click on new again. I'm going to use the first material for the icosphere and the second one for the spider. By the way, if you want to arrange the nodes, you can press N and go to arrange and click on arrange all nodes. Save again and go back to layout mode. Go here and click on this drop down next to the empty. And let's go to icosphere and disable it in the render. You can also disable it in the viewport because we don't need it. If you don't have these options, you can go up here and enable them. Now select the empty, press delete on the numpad and 1. And let's zoom out with this option here. Hit Shift A and add a camera. Control Alt 0 to go into camera view and press G and set twice. With the empty selected, press R and the spider will move along with it. If it is too slow, you can select the plane and go to geometry nodes. Select the extrude mesh node, press shift and click on the subdivision surface node. Now press M to disable them. Make sure to enable them again before rendering. I'm also going to set the resolution here to 3. Save again and go back to layout mode. Select the empty again and keyframe the rotation. I'm going to set the end to 100. On frame 101 set the Y rotation to minus 360 and keyframe it. Now here press A and T and set it to linear. Hover over the timeline and press Ctrl Tab. Make sure the set U rotation is selected and go to the modifiers and add a noise modifier. Now if we press play we'll have something like this. Set the scale to 50 and the strength to 10. To make this loop properly enable restrict frame range and set the end to 100 and the blend in and out to 25. Back in camera mode let's press G and set twice so that everything is in the frame of the camera. Select the plane and go to general nodes and let's enable these two nodes again. Save again and let's go to shading. I'm going to use cycles but you can also use EV. Under color management you can set the field transform to filmic and they look to very high contrast. Remember to set these two settings back to the default settings before compiling the images. Go into rendered view. I'm going to put a link to the HDI that I'm using for this in the description. Let's also add a plane. Press R, X, 90 and let's scale it up. Like this. Now press G and Y and move it back. Hit Shift A and add an area light. Press G and Z and move it down and press R, Y, 
180. Go to the object data properties and set the power to 500. Now set the size to 10. I'm going to move it back so that it intersects with the plane here and scale it up on the X axis. Move it down slightly and press Shift D. Select the second light and go here. Here for the Z, let's simply remove the minus. Hit enter. Now set the Y rotation to zero. I'm going to give both of the lights a light blue color. Now go here and copy the hex code. Select the first light and paste the hex code in here. Select the first plane again. Delete the principal BSDF and add a glass BSDF. Right now I have the material selected that we are going to use for the spider. I'm also going to make this a light blue. Select the glass BSDF and press Ctrl C and select the first material. Now press Ctrl V. Ctrl Shift click on the glass BSDF. I'm going to make this an even lighter blue. If you're using cycles, go to compositing, enable use nodes and denoising data and add a denoise node set to accurate. Go to the output properties and select an output folder. I'm going to use JPEG with the quality set to 100%. Go to render and if you want, you can enable lock interface. Also, if you want to, you can go to performance and enable persistent data. Be careful with this because this will increase memory usage. Save again and press Ctrl F12. If you liked this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.